What's up, YouTubers? Um, from the looks of things, I bet you guys can feel my pain. But um, long story short, this car got wrecked, and I'm going to be parting this car out. So anybody that needs E90 parts, E92 parts, let me know. Um, some things are off limits. Just hit me up. Um, you can message me in the comments or whatever. Um, so let's get to it. So I'm going to be removing the powertrain out of this car because I have special plans for this N54 engine. This engine is looks like it's still good. We're going to be putting it into... Hold on for it. Wait, wait. We're going to be putting it into this. Bam! E92 M3. This is my new car, my new project car. It's not actually an M3, but yet it is a 335i that looks like an M3. Got the hood on it, front bumper, as you guys can see. Also got side skirts, and let's go around to the rear. The rear bumper and exhaust as well. But um, yeah, so this motor has a spun bearing. So I'm going to be removing that and using my old engine. Um, the motor can be rebuilt, so if anybody wants to purchase it, just let me know in the comments below. Or hit me up on Instagram. But um, there's going to be a full series building this car. Not only is it going to be a swap, there's going to be upgrades as well. All right, what's up YouTubers? So as you can see, I got the car in front of me. I already removed the hood. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna remove the whole front end of this car because it's already damaged anyway, not gonna be reusing it. So that'll give us some room to get the engine out pretty, pretty easy. Um, if you've been working on BMWs before, or if you haven't, you're gonna need a whole lot of torques and inverted torque sockets. So I have a kit over there that I'm gonna be utilizing so first order of business is to remove this bumper. Wasn't that good? I don't got wines. Yeah, at least I was good to you. What's up world? This is how far I reached so far, prepping the engine to get removed. Uh, disconnect the ECU right here and the electronics, and also all of the stuff on the front of the motor. Yeah, so we disconnected the AC compressor right here. Now I'm gonna disconnect the steering column or whatever you wanna call it. And um, it looks like Oh, I'm pretty sure there's a fuel line somewhere I got to get disconnected. And then um, the rest should be underneath the bottom. Disconnect the exhaust, the drive shaft, take the whole subframe down. Just disconnect the strut up here. Yeah. Alright, what's up, world? Got my main man right here, came through. Mr. BMW himself. Yes, sir. He had to make sure I was knowing what I was doing, but y'all tell him that. Tell him about Blueprint. <laughs> anyway, we're prepping the underneath of the car. Got the exhaust down. Got the drive shaft hanging down. Got to disconnect the clutch, the fuel line, and the steering column. And then from there, we should be able to drop the entire subframe with the the trans the trans mount and so what else what else is there oh yeah I'm pretty sure there's like some heater hoses that go to the firewall and uh, what else I don't know we'll figure it out along the way I mean mr. snap-on right there <laughs> if anybody want any parts I got a ton load of parts here that is still good so just hit me up leave a comment below and um, stay tuned. All right, what's up, YouTubers? So the engine is just about ready to come out. All we gotta do is unbolt the subframe and the trans mount, and she's ready to go. Now I'm gonna share something with y'all. 
that my master BMW tech just shared with me. He told me the tow hook goes into the engine. I was like, what? He was like, nah, the tow hook goes into the engine. Check this shit out. You're gonna find this little hole right here. Some wires in the way. And you're gonna screw this bad boy inside the engine right there. Shit is real, people. Don't start trying to pull your car by the engine, though. This is only to lift the engine up. <laughs> Yo, this shit could probably come straight out then without yeah. dropping the frame. Just drop the train mount. Yeah. Alright, world. So, this was going on. You're gonna just pull the engine out. And because the motor mounts are clearly not doing nothing right now. So I'm going to drop the trans mount and the engine should be able to swing out of it. It might swing down on the tail. So I'm going to put the jack underneath the bottom. was <laughs> Oh, y'all saw that shit? That shit was crazy. <laughs> Oh, 
well, not all old, but. So I ain't trying to get no crazy horsepower, so 500 is good. I don't need meth and all this shit. And they said meth won't keep it nice and cool, though. They said the meth is not good unless you're using um, direct injection. Word, I'm gonna listen to Jay. Yo, boss, Yeah, this shit'll fit in the belly? Nah. What you mean? Cussing that shit? Nah. Yo. <laughs> You know what I seen them niggas do though? The old, the old school um, BMW. Them niggas put a S2000 engine in that shit. Niggas put a fucking ZL1 Corvette engine in an EK hatch. Yo, they rushed this in the old BMW. Pass me that cutter. They rushed in the old BMW. It's all like a pop fire. Oh, my nigga Buddha came. Yo, this weird ass nigga. He about 350. He can't do shit. 350. How much you weigh? 300. 350, three hundred. Three fifty, motherfucker. I'm two thirty. You got me by at least a hundred pounds, motherfucker. All right, so we got the powertrain here, laying on this half of a fucking um, dolly.